giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Don West and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. I'm joined now by Kyle Wiley Pickett, the music director and conductor of the Springfield Symphony. Kyle, welcome to you, sir. Thank you very much. New season of the symphony is upon us. We now. have a great, exciting season coming up, and and you know that's always kind of the beginning of the season is always one of my favorite times of the year because we have all of this wonderful music in front of us for uh, for an entire year, and and we start to prep it and, and get ready to to play for the community. What's the schedule look like coming up? Well, we've got uh, you know I I've uh, had themes for our season uh, since I took over as music director five years ago, and uh, the theme this year is the big questions. Okay. And so I chose music that really asked a lot of those big questions that we face in our life. You know, is, you know where do I come from? Uh, is there life after death? Um, do, will you marry me is, is, <laughs> is this a big question. Um, does art give life meaning? And so I've collected pieces that ask those questions, try to answer those questions, and, uh, and put together a season based on that. Uh, so we have some some concerts, some really exciting concerts like uh, the Verdi Requiem, which asks, asks that question about life after death. Um, we're we have a wonderful program uh, with a Mahler Symphony, Mahler's Fourth Symphony, that um, asks the question, you know, where am I going? Who? Where did I come from? Where am I going? Uh, we have some amazing guest artists coming in this year. The one of the Van Cliburn piano competition winners, one okay. of the top young pianists in the world, is coming to play with us. Uh, we have a classical guitarist from Brazil coming, so it, it'll be an exciting season. And these are around uh, what once a month at Juanita K. Yeah, so we we run basically on the school year, so we do a nine month subscription series. So you can buy a subscription to all nine, or you can buy individual tickets to each of those. And so basically once a month from, from September through May. And uh, then we have some extra things here and there too, like our spooky symphony Halloween concert for the kids. And we do a holiday matinee and we do our school's concert for all the fourth graders in, in town. Uh, in addition to those big subscription concerts. And many of those performances you can see on MC22. How does the public get tickets for them? Well, they can always go get information on our website, which is springfieldmosymphony.org. The Mo is important in there. Uh -huh. we, don't, we don't want you going to Massachusetts. So <laughs> springfieldmosymphony.org. Uh, the, the box office is handled through Hammonds Hall, and so you can always get a hold of Hammonds Hall box office. Uh, but all of the information about everything that we have throughout the year is on our website, and, and uh, I hope people will come out and, and see us. And to get you interested in what's coming up musically, you deliver a, a talk about what, what you're going to hear, right? I do, yeah. Uh, before each of the classical concerts, I actually do a couple talks. I'll, I'll do a pre-concert talk an hour before the show, right from the stage. And I like to just tell stories. It's not a college lecture. There's no test. It's just, you uh -huh. know, interesting stories about the interesting people who wrote the music that we're playing. And then uh, the Thursday prior to every concert, every classical concert, we do a program called Behind the Baton, where our soloist will come into town early. Um, those take place this year at the, the art museum. And, uh, and I interview the soloist and ask them questions and tell a little bit about the music. If we don't have a soloist, I'll play musical examples. And it's just a chance to hear the human side of, of these. You know, we think of Beethoven and Mozart and we elevate them to these positions of, of almost deification, but they, they were just guys. And so mm -hmm. there are interesting things about them and about the music that they wrote. Can I talk about that? You've been in the conductor's seat for five years or so now? I'm beginning my sixth year with the Springfield Symphony. Yeah. Yeah. Learned a lot, I guess. I've learned a lot. <laughs> we love it here. We love it in Springfield. I love this orchestra. And, and you know, we've... We've seen record growth in our ticket sales over these five years, and so we've well, had... What's an average crowd at, at Juanita? Well, you know, see? Juanita K, you can see about 22, 2300. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have, last year we sold out at least three of the nine shows, Great. so that was pretty much 22, 2300. Yeah. I'd say an average crowd is probably 17, 1800. So we're, you know, it's a pretty full house, yeah. which is exciting for us as, as performers. Sure. We, we like to see that. Uh, and, and it's my goal that every single one of the nine concerts is sold out. Uh, but, you know, we, we feel like we're really reaching people in Springfield. And, and uh, you know, it's a, it's, a qual it's a professional orchestra right here in town. And uh, 
we, uh, we put on a professional product, and, and I think people are really taking notice of that. SpringfieldMoSymphony.org is the website for the Springfield Symphony. It'll all get started here uh, coming up very quickly. Kyle, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.